Hi everyone, welcome back to Sam IT. I'm Scott Allen Miller, and today we're going to talk about how snapshots are not backups. Like RAID is not backups, you've probably heard people say that snapshots are not backups. In fact, you'll probably have mentioned this somewhere and someone will immediately jump out with, hey, snapshots are not backups, or don't forget, snapshots are not backups. This one's a little bit different than the RAID piece. With RAID and backups, it's really clear that RAID is one thing and backups are another. Snapshots are not quite the same. Let's put it in a different context. Are photos, books, well, no. One's a photograph and one's a book. They're different things. But can a group of photographs bound together be a book? A photo book? Of course it can. So photos might be a building block of books, even though they themselves are not books. That's where we run into a problem with snapshots and backups. A lot of people uh, make assumptions about what we mean when we say snapshots, and this leads to part of the problem. This mostly comes from modern snapshot mechanisms, like those used by big products like VMware or ZFS or LVM. And what these generally do is they take a snapshot, literally, basically a picture of the current running system and store it with the current running system. In many cases, most in fact, this snapshot is actually dependent on the running system. Not just that they share a disk, that's bad enough, but beyond sharing the same physical hardware media, they generally are actually tied together so that the corruption of one would potentially directly lead to the corruption of the other. So they are extremely tightly coupled in almost all circumstances. This is a serious detriment if you were to think of this as a backup because obviously anything that impacted the original would impact the snapshot. The problem here is that that's not what snapshot means. That's just a really common use case of it. It is legitimately snapshots, but it's not the only meaning of snapshot. A similarly common thing to do is use a snapshot mechanism to make that snapshot, that initial snapshot, then copy that snapshot to another device at which point it rapidly becomes decoupled from the original. Clearly, once it's stored on a completely different device, it no longer has these tight ties to the original source material, nor is it sharing the underlying physical media. At this point, you may start considering this a backup. It is, at very least, a copy. Because of this, while a snapshot doesn't necessarily become a backup, many snapshots actually are backups. So it's important to understand that just because it's a snapshot doesn't mean it's a backup, but just because it's a snapshot doesn't mean it can't be a backup. And in fact, the majority of modern backup mechanisms, big products, and we'll throw a few names out there like Veeam and Unitrends, who are major market players, utilize snapshotting mechanisms in order to create their initial backup source. And so in these cases, snapshots become backups, and that's just fine. So it's really important to understand when you're talking to people about this that the mechanism of taking snapshots is not the mechanism of creating backups. But very often, possibly most of the time, the process of making a backup will involve starting with a snapshot, and in some cases will result in nothing but a snapshot, and the backup system is doing nothing but managing that snapshot. A common example there might be something like Scale Computing Scale HC3 Hyper uh, Converged Solution, which uses a built-in snapshot mechanism, which if you were to only take a local snapshot would not be a backup because it's directly tied to the original data. But the, the backup mechanism there automatically or can automatically take a copy of that snapshot and ship it off to a completely external device which can be completely decoupled from the original, making it a full snapshot-based backup mechanism. I know that some of these things get confusing because one thing's a building block and one thing's the result, and often people like to distill things into really handy phrases that they can say quickly, like backups and snapshots are different things. Of course they are different things, but one can create the other if used properly. So understanding the underlying pieces helps you understand what people mean and what the actual resulting effect is, because it's very common to find someone who then finds out that there's a mechanism using snapshots and then assume that the resulting backup isn't really a backup. And that is not what the phrase snapshots are not backups means. And I've seen this in every case, including ones where people will assume one snapshot is a backup and one is not based simply on whether they were aware that there's a snapshot going on under the hood or not. 
Thanks for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe. Put your comments below. Where have you exhibited this behavior or seen people with this behavior? And do you have questions about it? And as always, you can go to the link below in the description. Sponsor us on Patreon. Discover how easy and affordable business telephone service can be. Say it with Takadillo.